This video lesson is made for you to learn more about physical states of matter and their properties. This will lead you to explain the properties of solids, liquids, and gases based on the particle nature of matter. This is about identifying and describing the classification of matter based on its physical state, solids, liquids, and gases. In grade 7, you have learned classification of matter. You learned that matter can be classified as pure substances and mixtures. Pure substances such as elements and compounds have uniform composition throughout. Mixtures contain two or more components, substances that may be classified into homogeneous or heterogeneous depending on the size of the components present on it. Everything that exists can be classed as either a type of matter or a form of energy. Matter is anything that occupies space and has mass. The measure of the space occupied by an object is called volume. The mass of an object is a measure of the amount of matter the object has. Three states of matter exist, solid, liquid, and gas. Each has its own unique set of physical properties. Solids have a definite shape and volume. Solids are characterized by a structural rigidity and resistance to changes of shape or volume. Most metals exist as solids at room temperature. Liquids have definite volume, but no definite shape, takes the shape of its container. Liquids flow because particles are free to move but are still attracted to each other. Gases have no definite shape or volume. Gas is the state in which matter expands to occupy the volume and shape of its container. Gases have low density which contain scattered molecules that are dispersed across a given volume. Particles of gases move in random motion with little or no attraction to each other. Gases are highly compressible. Non-matter is not a type of matter but form of energy. Non-matter includes the light from the sun, the heat from the fire, and the sound of a police siren. You cannot hold, taste, or smell these things. Other properties of matter includes hardness, texture, color, flexibility, malleability, and electrical conductivity which vary from one sample to another. According to Aristotle, Greek philosopher, any object can be divided infinitely into smaller pieces, but Democritus believed that if an object is cut into smaller and further smaller pieces, one may finally attain the smallest indivisible particle which he referred to as atomos, which means indestructible. A molecule is a particle consisting of two or more atoms combined together in a specific arrangement. Matter and energy make up your surroundings. Matter is made up of a very small particles called atoms. It is the behavior and interactions of atoms and molecules within a substance that determine their state. The particulate model of matter in figure 1 that the particles of solids cannot move around and they vibrate a little in fixed position. Thus, they are incompressible. The particles, ions, atoms or molecules, are tightly packed together in the solid. The forces between the particles are intense in such a way that the particles cannot move freely but can only vibrate. As a result, the solid has a stable, definite shape and a certain volume. Solids can only change their shape by force, as if they were broken or cut. In liquids, the particles are closer to one another but they can move around each other and can change positions but not as freely as those in gas. As you observe from the given example of liquid, like cooking oil, it flows, its particles spread out and take the shape of the container while maintaining its volume. Thus, liquids have definite volume but no definite shape. Particles in liquids collide each other as they flow out of a container, and these happens because there are attractions among them. These attractions make it possible for liquids to have a definite volume. Gases take the shape of the container because the particles are able to move freely to all parts of the container. Gases move in random motion and its particles move at random directions very quickly. Particles of gases collide each other and with the walls of the container in straight line paths, and change their direction only when they rebound after collisions. It's important for you to know the properties of matter because all things are made up of matter. Each type of matter has different physical characteristics and you need to know and understand these characteristics. It will help us to see matter, feel matter, and taste matter.